Hey, what's up guys? Ryan here and welcome back to another quick tip. And today we're kind of just continuing working out these bugs and questions people have had about another GUI and ProRes and stuff like that. So today we're talking about um, image sequences and adjusting the frames per second in your final ProRes render and uh, kind of working out those issues. And I mean, disclaimer ahead of time, I have, I'm not a coder, I'm not anything like that. I'm just a freelance motion graphic artist. But I found a quick little way that worked for me to adjust the correct frames per second in your render. So let's go ahead and jump in. All right, cool. So here I have another GUI already open. I'm in version 2.1. And uh, I started out with the ProRes preset. And let's go ahead and bring in an image sequence. And right now I have this image sequence of this uh, earth background. So I'll go ahead and open that. Now this project in Cinema 4D, I made it 30 frames per second and it's 10 seconds long, I believe. So let's go ahead and start with the ProRes preset, click go and see what we get. Let me change the output path really quick and we'll just do the root of this drive. And let's go ahead and click go and we'll see what frames per second ends up being. All right, cool. So here we have our rendered movie. I'm gonna open it up with media info. And another GUI doesn't really have an, a good way of knowing what frames per second you wanted. So we have an Apple ProRes render, but we're starting at 25 frames per second. And I know I want it 30 frames per second. So let's go ahead and, and what we're gonna do is just a little quick edit to the ProRes preset that we wanna use as the final output. So I'm gonna go ahead and click edit. And you know, underneath here, I'm just gonna add a space. And again, this just happened to work for me based off of other presets. I'm not a coder. So if anyone wants to give me tips on why this works, I am more than happy to hear them. So, so all I added was hyphen space. And in quotes, I added the frame rate that I want to be. So in this case, let's do 30 frames per second. End it with quotes, save it. We'll go ahead and make the output folder that G drive again. And this one, I'm gonna change the name to it, do underscore 30 frames per second. And let's go ahead and click go. All right, cool, so that got done. We have our ProRes render here. Let's go ahead and take a look at it real quick. All right, it's just a slow moving earth background. So let's close that. Let's use media info to double check it. And here we have our ProRes render, 1920 by 1080 in 30 frames per second versus the old one. Let's see, we have it right here, let's bring it back up. The old one was 25 frames per second. So, and this can work with whatever frame rate we want. So let's go ahead and add it one more time. And maybe, uh, you know, let's go ahead and We'll add the ProRes again, edit. We'll change the rate to 24 this time. Let's save it. And let's go ahead and just say, let's move this to the G drive again. We'll delete all this. And just to test it, we'll say this is 24 frames per second. And let's click go. All right, cool, so that just got done. Let's go ahead and use media info one more time to check out our clip. And here we have same stats, ProRes, but this one is 24 frames per second. Awesome, so I hope that helps uh, answer some of the questions that people had about how to adjust uh, image sequence frame rates and exporting it from another GUI. Uh, with their new watch folder structure and stuff like that, that might be uh, a good way to automate your system and your uh, workflow to help that out a little bit. So. Hope that helps. Uh, more tutorials coming up this week and next week. Uh, Fridays will kind of be the days for those. Uh, so yeah, subscribe if you want to see those. Um, send me more comments or messages on stuff that I can help out with or anything you want to see. And I'll talk to you guys in the next tutorial. Cool, so it's really slowing down towards the end there, which is nice, kind of eases into it a little bit more. All right, cool, so we're almost there. We're doing good.